if you use MVC, Razor Pages, or Blazor in ASP.NET Core, you're probably using Bootstrap 5. One of the newer features of Bootstrap is the ability to turn on dark mode in your app with just one line of code. In this video, I'll show you how to enable dark mode as well as how to add it to an older web application. Now, for most of my training, I work to give an in-depth look at the technology, but sometimes you just need a quick answer to a question. That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So here we have a few different projects in my solution. First is a Blazor web app with both the server side project and the client side. These are both .NET 9. I also have an MVC demo, which is .NET 6, which will have an older version of Bootstrap. Let's start with our Blazor web application. If we open up www root and go down here to Bootstrap dist CSS, we can see that we're in version 5.3.3, which is at the time of this recording, I believe the latest version of Bootstrap. Either way, all we need is version 5.3. So anything there or after is just fine, which means we don't need to make any changes to Bootstrap. We can come to components and go to app. And here is where we'll make the change. Now we're going to apply this to the entire site. Dark mode can be applied to individual components or to your entire site. So let's go here to the HTML tag. We're going to put a space and say data dash BS for bootstrap dash theme, which is technically what these are is themes. We'll say dark. Now let's actually first run this. I'm going to cut this out for a minute and run this. I want to show you, make sure you see what the default is without this. So we haven't made any changes yet. This is the default, um, but that way you can actually see what it looks like. There we go. There's the, the dark mode demo in not dark mode. So now we'll put that code in and we'll run it again. That's the only change I have made. And now we've got a dark mode theme. Now you may say, well, Tim, it's kind of ugly right now because the purple is still purple. Well, yes, that's because it's overridden the color. And up here is white. Well, yes. And this is where, when I say that you can add dark mode to your site with just one line of code, yes, you can, we just did. But that doesn't mean your work is done. The further along you are in your CSS, the more you're gonna have to address in your code, which is why this is easiest when you're starting out and harder as you go, but it still can be worth it. Now, I also wanna point out that you don't have to use just one theme. You can actually have it toggle. You can set up a toggle for, for different themes. You can also say light here, and that will enable the light theme. Um, so there's options for you. There's a light theme. But let's go back to the dark mode and talk about why we have that white bar. Well, if we go to the layout and go to the main layout, we'll see we have this bar right here. It says top dash row. Now, if you were to look in the CSS file here, um, app.css, you won't find anything that changes the color of that row. But if you expand main layout.razor, you'll see main layout.razor.css. This is page specific or isolated CSS. And in here, you'll see top row, you'll see color. So an easy fix for this one is you take it out. Now we're in dark mode right now. And if we run this, we'll see that it's going to be in dark mode. And if we were to change this to light mode and run it, then we'll see that it still works in light mode. So I think this works great, you know, and that's the thing you have to work through is how do you change your CSS? You can also in your CSS, look at which theme, which theme you're in and apply certain styles based upon the theme because you might wanna have different colors for light versus dark theme. Just so you know, I have a Bootstrap 5 course that covers all of this and how it works as well as a lot more about Bootstrap. But I wanna show you this, this one thing in Bootstrap. So let's come on down to the MVC demo and let's start it up first so you can see what the MVC demo looks like by default, and that's what it looks like. So now let's address enabling this. Now we could try to do something similar. So let's first go look at our CSS 
I'm sorry, our lib bootstrap, dist, CSS, and bootstrap. And we'll see we're at 5.1.0, which does not have the themed or dark mode enabled. So we cannot just turn it on. In fact, if we go to views, we go to shared, and we look at the layout view. This is the layout view. Um, you'll see I actually have it already in here, but it's not enabled. So how do we enable it? Well, if we go over to getbootstrap.com and go to docs, the Get Bootstrap site is amazing. One thing they're going to look for is in the download section. We're going to look at the content delivery network and copy these two lines of code. Now I've copied them already um, on my clipboard. So I'm going to bring those over and where it says bootstrap right here, we're going to replace that with the link from the content delivery network for bootstrap. And we're going to do the same thing down at the bottom where it says bootstrap for the JavaScript. We're going to get rid of that and put the new JavaScript. Now we just upgraded Bootstrap. We also made our site a little bit faster by using a content delivery network, um, potentially. Um, but just so you know, when you do change versions, you may have to change some of your CSS. So in this case, there's our dark mode. So again, we have to change the top bar here. And in order to do that, we have to address that top bar. And we'll see that right here, we see nav bar light and background white. We get rid of those two things and we start it up again. There we go. Looks a whole lot better. Um, we don't have our links to the our bad colors right now because of the, um, the overridden colors here. And so it's not going to, you know, pop out real well. We would need to address that as well. So these are the things you'll have to do as you change over to dark mode or have you be a switch between light and dark mode, you have to address both. But again, this is the an easy first step for that. And all of Bootstrap 5 respects the light mode and dark mode. So it's only your custom CSS that will cause problems and has to be addressed. And if you were careful about your CSS and how you read it, wrote it, well, then you'll have an easier time switching over from light to dark mode. But that's it. That's how you enable um, dark mode in Bootstrap 5.3 or beyond is to say data-bs-theme and put dark in there. Attach it to HTML tag will apply it to your entire page. Again, you can apply it to certain elements if you want. So you have a, a light theme element and a dark theme element side by side if you want. Um, and just doing that based upon the theme of that particular element being dark or light. All right. So that's it. Try it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.